Hello, monsters around here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3. Hang on, I've got the burp coming. I do apologise. On brand, though, isn't it, eh? Hmm? On brand for the ogres. Welcome back to part two of my Scrag campaign. That's right. I'm the only bugger playing the ogres. You're welcome. With good reason. Uh, with the ogre hall. Uh, Christ, your name. Oda Tooth Hoarder. If you're at work and the, and the Skype window opens up and someone's calling you and it's Odor or Tooth, tooth Hoarder, you know it's not going to be a social call, don't you? Anyway, we're going to continue to... God, the Border Princes actually start off with a lot of stuff, don't they? Surprising. I mean, they're not technically a, a cohesive empire. They are a patchwork of little fiefdoms and empires and kingdoms and all kinds of shit. But they're not a cohesive... They're basically all the people that left the Empire going, I bet I can do better than this, and then didn't. Um, but they are quite a nice little uh, defensive line for the Empire, because they're always the ones that get annihilated by the Orcs first. So that's good for them. It's a bit of fun. Good time. Right, you're hiding in the mountains there, aren't you? Can you, can, can, come here. Come here. Come here, don't run away. Don't, don't. Come here. Come here. I'm just going to auto resolve you. Cause you're only a little thingy majig. Uh, although, you did actually do quite a lot of damage to us. Oof. Oof. It's more damage than I would have liked. Oh, we've got World Swallower. It's got a good gag reflex. Diplomatic relations with all factions. Ah. Oh, um, I mean, that may not be the worst thing actually come to think of it like 20 relations actually isn't is pretty legit i might you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna take that this, uh, this is diplomatic it's gonna put a li little tie on over his meat stains Ooh, a halfling cook apron Right, let's gonna let's get let's gonna see who does anyone want to deal? Oh, hello, top knots want to deal with me. I do not want to deal with Scabby. I want to deal with me. I don't want to deal with them. They're all garbage. Uh, anyone else who likes me the the most? Let's have a look. Right, so it's orcs. Orcs like me the most apparently, which is nice. Um, but Avalans, I mean, it, it's getting better. A lot of lot of people, a little bit ogre racist, but that's fine. It's to be expected, really. It's a problem when you're largely in charge, isn't it? I like the fact we can move our camp. That's very... That's good. That's a lot of... That's a super, super good. I wouldn't mind replenishment. All the, no, no, I'm going to go replenishment. I'm going to be honest, we're kind of, kind of struggling with replenishment. At the moment. Now, we get upkeep. Yeah, we get upkeep reduction. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh, if we wait one more turn, we'll get more growth, and I would like more growth. So, what's our plan? Well, our plan is to head down to ki kill the Border Princes, first and foremost, because they're on my victory condition list. Just give them a right good kicking. Big name available. Oh, um, all right. All right, Bear Grylls, you can have more melee attack. Death Cheater, damage resistance. If your hit points are less than 25%, which is fine. Uh, more melee attack when fighting against elves, because he's an elf muncher. Likes eating elves. Uh, missile resistance. Oh, oh, actually, missile resistance is very good. Missile resistance for everyone in the army. Not even when you're just fighting elves, just in general. Holy shit. Like, one of the worst things for ogres is getting shot, because they're so big. Especially if they've got guns, because then they'll just shoot over the heads of their friends into your face. Because you're, obviously, being an ogre, you're quite tall. That's kind of a problem. So, Gavi, missile resistance is uh, is super useful to have. Hello, Valmia. <laughs> no. No. No, there's no, there's no. No peace for you. No peace. Only war. Uh, right. Let's move you. 
Um, I kind of need replenishment. Uh, what I might do actually is encamp myself. Where's the? I can't see the radius. All right, just meander down here then. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Then we can hit uh, the Danos next turn, and we'll head over into quite moist-looking Tilia. Looking a little bit moist. Melee attack for all ogre infantry. Mm -mm -mm. Don't mind if I do. We'll build you. Currently, we are not making much money. Not, not big monies. Uh, do we have Silent Hunters? Stalk for all for all Sabre Tusks. There we go, because then they can go and hang out with the Gorges and we can have one big Stalky Force. It's quite fun. Right, public order here is generally fine. Income is probably something we want. Probably should go for this first, but right, unless we can reach it, we can reach it. We should definitely go for Myrmidons first then, because that's where they're growing little army, and uh, I need to put them out of my misery. Right, we'll go with a five. Uh, do I have... Let me just double check. Do we have our melee attack? Where is it? There it is. Yep, 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 good. You notice how some cities have got, like, fire and shit on them when you attack, and others are just... Do you think the fire's normal? Is that just that they've had a terrible accident and then you turn up and everyone's just like, oh, for fuck's sake. First this, now this. Never rains, but it pours. There, anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna pummel down them walls. By... Do they actually attack? Oh, they are attacking the walls, but we're just gently bumping up against them. Walls don't have arms, mate, but there we go. Okay, so we've, we've broken through the wall there, so we can get in. And I like the effect. It's only a decal, but it looks nice. Uh, like the effect on the wall. And then we've got the Gorges and the Sabre Tusks, because, of course, they are invisible. Although, as soon as you attack a wall, as soon as you attack a gate, you're not invisible. You're visible, which is the opposite. So they can be spotted, but a lot of their army isn't anywhere near there to deal with it. So we're going to be able to smash that gate down. No problem. Okay, our ogres are doing their best, but we've got some pokey boys and they are slowly poking us to death. Need some need some backup. Some noblars? It's not great backup, but it's something. Unfortunately, the uh, the ogre balls are going to run away. But they did kill 45 guys, so I think that's pretty fine. However, to back them up, we smash through another section of the wall. Oh, and someone in some gorge as well. They come scrag. Showing that just because he doesn't have arms doesn't mean he has to be held back. He can do anything he wants to. It's, it's mostly carving people up and, and dropping them in a pot and then eating them. But still, if that's your dream... Go for it. Or don't, probably. Just don't do that. Okay, well, the Nobblers doing okay. Not that I really care. Meanwhile, the Gorges have managed to rampage through a unit of crossbows. Who we're just kind of going to charge over. Because we've got bigger fish to fry, including these crossbows. As we push further into the city, they're building more defences. Oh, those uh, ogre balls have rallied. Good for them. Scrag really is on the rampage. 45 kills, 53 kills. Like that, 56 kills. And he just he just produced a lot of jam, which I like. Oof. A little bit of missile fire there, but not not particularly in 
vested in caring. More ogre balls with our dual weapons. Slamming into those crossbows. We'll make short work of them. And some swordsmen moving in to try and slow us down. That's also not going to do very well. I mean, this battle's basically over at this point. Look, look at these, look at these numbers. Saber tusks, ogre bulls that rallied, and the gorgers are now moving around behind the enemy army, catching them in a nice little flanking attack. So these guys are not going. Out, are they going over the barricade? Don't know whether they know which direction to go. Another barricade here, which the saber tusks are going to have to try and uh, break through while taking fire from the crossbows. Let's see, uh, hang on. Can we see how much damage they've done to that barricade? Oh yeah, it's almost, it's almost down. Give those crossbows a nice good fisting. To be honest, I think, I think they're pretty close to breaking. Surrounded by angry ogre babies. And is this thing not down yet? Come on, guys. Work a little bit harder. Look, they've got three kills. They're doing really well. Stop them. You guys gonna break and run yet? You gonna you gonna run? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Hmm, I guess we occupy? I don't really want to, I don't really care. But, uh, you know. We are, we are where we are. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to get the replenishment just because that is so useful. Uh, sword Noblar. They do tend to send you into melee combat, don't I? So, sure. Let's grab that one. Tyrant of the tribe. Let's get the camp meandering. Tyrant of the tribe. Uh, I kind of want to recruit more guys, but I don't have any money, so I'm I'm not going to. Do what I say. Tyrant. Can I get this one? Money from contract. Was there not a building where we got... Income from all non-camp buildings. There we go. So yeah, so we get we increase. What does empty the warrens do? Oh, summons a unit of noblars. Right. Okay, I'm with you. Lords army missile resistance. That's quite useful. Yeah. So basically, the more camps we have, the more money we make from non-camp buildings like these ones. So even though it's only it's only 150 at most at the moment, over time as we get more camps, that increases, in theory. But camps are now impossible to defend to the point where you tend to just kind of... And camps feel like they should be forward operating bases, but they're not because they're impossible to defend. So the best place to put them is so far into your territory that no one will ever find them. Because I don't think Creative Assembly have ever really worked out the idea that Raiding and, and sacking settlements actually isn't that useful at the start of the game. Raiding's never useful. Sacking is only useful when you're getting, like, huge amounts of money for it. Don't declare war on me. Oh, you want an aggression pack? No. No, because I don't don't like you. Oh, I guess that's because we've got the, we've got the more diplomacy, haven't we? So actually people don't, don't hate my guts for a change. Ooh, money. Thank you. Oh, double money. Even better. Karak Norn's dead. That's that's a, that's another win. Everything's coming up scrag. Uh, yeah, we're just going to head in this direction. So camp slowly, slowly meander towards us. Uh, so we can take Verendos, then Argalius. Argalis. We want more money, don't we? So that's 200. That's another 200 income. Holy shit. More camp growth would be nice as well. Get that ticking along. And you 
Campa Ooh, campaign movement range. All right, in that case, let's go with Inspiring Presence, even though you don't Fire really have that much spoil. of an army. But having the camp be able to move around, albeit slowly, really does make a lot of sense. Especially because you have a bunch of factions whose armies are their camps. So why would you just make the ogres worse? Why would you go to the ogres? Nah, you don't you don't deserve a camp. You don't deserve to be a migratory faction. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, you're gonna have to just be put up with the fact that you've got you've got double. You've got a little migratory army that you're gonna have to put units into that cost money. Also your economy is gonna be garbage. Enjoy that. Just poor ogres. So, oh, they're, they're, they're so hard done by the poor buggers. No, I'm not going to have any military agreements with you because that pisses off other people for some reason. Getting military access trading. Okay, more contracts. Okay. Let's see what these are like. Uh, right. Right. So, eliminate neck snapper. So, that's going to give me fuck all money. Nice. Clan Ungrunds. Eliminate cracker. That's fuck all. Capture and occupy Kazakarak, the capital of the Dwarven Empire, for 2,250 income. Wow. I would go so far as to say the camp growth is probably the best one, but fuck doing that. <laughs> These are so bad. I mean, I don't really care about different relations with any of them. The money's garbage. How much is Scrag costing me a turn? So Scrag cost me almost 2,800, let's call that 2,900, 2,900 a turn, which means this money isn't even a single turn of upkeep for this army, which means if I if I was to go, okay, I will deal with Kazakarak, that would take Scrag like one, two, three, four, five, six, I want to say roughly seven turns to reach it. So that's seven turns of that, that upkeep, and in return... I get fucking this. I get fucking nothing. Pittance. Fuck God. What, what? No. No. Who the fuck signed off on this? Who the fuck went, yeah, no, that seems fine. No. Jesus Christ, guys. Do you, do you fucking play your own games? It would take me roughly this many turns to realise that contracts are fucking useless. I mean, with any luck, one day, you know, hopefully soon, when we get the DLC, they'll they'll make them better. But Christ, on a so bad, like it it would be better not to have them, because having them just makes me angry. Because it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> anyway. We need eight growth, so we're gonna we're gonna so we're just we're just gonna ignore this because there's literally no point picking anything in there. Um, they, they, I mean, they they had a fairly decent system in in Three Kingdoms for the bandits, whereby you could kind of take a contract um, from a faction and you kind of got rewards based on you had you, you basically were at war with a faction. Um, that another faction paid you to be at war with another faction, and depending on how many settlements you took and stuff, you got a bonus at the end. Right, that system was already in place. Why did they make a worse system? I'm the boss. No, I refuse. I refuse to pick one. There's no point. Mighty Scrag. Oh, what do the you The gorgers want? have picked up a scent. Not all from all the way from fucking there. Be had. How Follow good is their fucking them. nose? You're miles away. What is this? As the gore harvester, Scrag is ever on the lookout for fresh meat for his cauldron. Long days spent wandering the undercaves taught the prophet of the great moor to observe the gorgers who haunt his every step. For their feral sense allows them to root out fresh quarry to satisfy their gnawing hunger. When the gorge's nostrils flare and their famished eyes gleam red, Scrag knows that slaughter is close at hand, and he has learned to gauge the scale of the potential feast by the gorge's silent eagerness. On this day, the gorgers have spent some time sniffing eagerly beyond the caverns, heading up 
out of the darkness and into the peaks with saliva stringing from their hideous teeth. Scrag's instincts is that they are onto something big and he follows them determined that his cauldron will have the greatest share of the flesh glut. Yeah, right. Oh, the rebel lords are dead. Good. Yeah, fine. Good. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what was it? Okay, doesn't matter. Not important. Uh, we got a channeling staff. That's useful. What's a grave pelt? Okay, more melee defense. Strider. I mean, that's that's actually pretty legit. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty legit. Hello, lads. I'm afraid for you, the war is over. Because you're all dead. Oh, uh, Nobler dead. Do I? No. Nope. Don't care. Um, I am going to... Uh, I'm just going to occupy. Okay, Border Princes are dead. Admittedly, right, Scrag has, has quite a lot of stuff to kill early on, doesn't he? Hello, Aranessa. That's not Aranessa. That's Amelie the Creeper. Um, I mean, I do like the gorgeous. They are pretty neat. How much have we got? Healthy on turn. Low chance the gorgeous be added. Meat from all sources is plus five percent. Fair dues. Um, does does the port give us any money? Holy shit! It gives us loads of money. What the fuck? What the fuck? 400 and then of course that gets increased by the build so realistically the the more the more ports you have the better because your your basic money building is pretty garbage in fact the income generated from this is pretty good as well so trade goods and ports that's what you want apparently because your basic money building is only 150 so this is 400 holy shit you can make loads of money uh we kind of want to defend these kind of I mean, it'd be nigh on impossible to, but technically, if you could, it'd be pretty, pretty legit. Right, income from raiding, okay. Income from all buildings, 10%, there we go. That's what we want. Okay, is Aranessa on our list of people we need to murder? Let's have a quick look, right. So, don't care about that. So, no. Clan Angrons. So, we could potentially make friends... Okay, we, we could make friends with... Um, Aranessa, couldn't we? Aranessa. My anger rises like the tide. Don't don't test it. Don't be angry. Don't be cross. I just look, I just feel like we could be friends. Oh, can we be friends? What's going on here? Wow, why you liked the border princes? What the shit? Why? What? Well, that doesn't make any bloody sense. You're a bloody pirate. In a soft spot for the fucking codpiece people. Slightly weird. Uh, let's grab. What does this do? Armor and missile resistance. I guess missile resistance may not be the worst thing. I guess breaking breaking leadership. Breaking the old leadership. When do we get our stone horn? Rank 15 or rank 9? Okay, that's not looking too bad. I'm going to give you missile resistance and physical resistance because I think you're going to need it. What we really want is this, which we could technically get next turn, but we're poor, so we won't be able to afford it. Never mind. We'll work, we'll work on it. And I guess more growth. Hello, madam. Land folk are weak. You appear to be in my in my lands, and also you don't like me. me on my ship and risk the well, I get. I guess. I guess this is just gonna have to be. Good night, Vienna, for Sartosa. Uh, what the fuck is going on down here? Hello. Could we be friends? Could we? Maybe. Maybe we could be friends. Maybe we could be friends with Arkan. I'm not usually friends with Arkan, but it's always a f it's always a first time in there. 
It's always a first time. Right, let's go and let's go and kill Sartos then, because I'm gonna be honest. They don't like me. They apparently like the Border Princes for some reason. Um, so we've already got a little bit of beef there. Also, I forgot to do my upgrade, didn't I? Whoops. Never mind. Uh, we do have the best banner in the game, though, of course. So we're going to pop that on Scrag. And a gleaming pennant, I'm going to put that on, I don't know, Ogres or somewhere. Something like that. That's probably fine. Must not forget to do the offering to the Moor. I mean, I'll have to wait until after battle now. Ogre babies sneaking behind. Is that like Muppet babies? Ogre baby. Probably a very different genre. Um, so the ogre babies coming in from behind, as they like to do. And our boys advancing from the front. There we go. They've now spotted the fact that we've got ogre babies coming from behind. Of course, Saber Tusk also, cut, also coming in. Save a pack is what I was trying to say. Uh, I guess they'll do okay. I don't know. I don't know how good the, the Sartos of Free Company are. I've also lost my little sidebar and you can't get it back outside of an actual battle that we've never played. Never mind. These things are sent to test us. Making a right. <laughs> That's what I love about the ogres is that once once you are actually in combat, the the enemy army sort of just disintegrates as you slam it all over the place. There's not much it can do. It just gets thrown around. There's ogres everywhere. It's ogre, as they say. It's all... They thought it was all ogre. It is now. Jeez, that's a lot of jam. Okay, well, I think it's fair to say that the Sartosan army has been completely and utterly annihilated. I do. I do. Right, do that because that's going to help us with our victory condition anyway. Oh, we got more money and some Mastodon armor. Watch my chaos doors in exchange for hundreds of human and noblar slaves. This great set of plate and chainmail shifts and hardens in response to incoming attacks. Bloody and raw. So, ooh, let's grab this one. Recruitment duration minus one for gorgeous. Offer the great more cost reduction. Probably should have got that before I did the, did the fucking all. Offer, shouldn't I? Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, you. Let's build that one. Do I want some iron? What I, what I want is... Where are they? There they are. There. There. Lead belchers. Lead belchers are great. Just, they're just carrying a fucking cannon. They shoot people with a fucking cannon that they're carrying around. I mean, that's... It's pretty, pretty legit. I mean, certainly not safe, but legit. Yes, Aranessa? What now? You want a peace treaty? Ooh. It's very tempting, but no. I, I suspect that maybe that was their only army. I don't know what happened to the other one, because there's currently strength rank 138, which is pretty low. Uh, I'm going to loot and occupy. 
Ooh, gut more. More heals for everyone you kill. Ooh, that's actually pretty... I'm going to give that to you, because as a caster, you're going to probably kill quite a lot of people. You can get the Mastodon armor. And we got Rune more. What does that do? Spell resistance, damage resistance, enabled if casting. What? Huge explosion area. I'm sorry, what part of this explodes? It gives an imbuement, and then it says it's got a huge explosion area. I don't understand what that means. Does it explode and give damage resistance and spell resistance? Enabled if casting. What? <laughs> it's just words. It's just words on a banner. I have no idea what any of it means. Fine. Fine, see if I care. Uh, right, we're going to save our pennies for the moment. Um, I need to do that quest battle as well. I will forget about it otherwise. I'm terrible like that. Do I want to repair this? Okay, I will repair that because it makes money. Could we... Could, could we... Ikit wants to be... Fr See, this, this... This, Aranessa, is how you treat people. This is how you treat people. You don't... You don't go all up in their face and then, you know, trample all over their... Their daisies. To get at your orc enemies. No, 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 no. No. You... You take them on aggression pact. By Barak Var, we're grievous. Okay, I think we're going to take Sarto. Does this give you extra defenses? Improves? Ta yes. Okay, so we'll have to fight that one. Assuming I can't just auto resolve it. Oh shit! aroness has got an army there. Fuck. Okay, we can just auto resolve this. Yeah. So if we if we put this banner on, because this only happens. If he's casting with a huge explosion area for some reason. Uh, good. Uh, we'll put that on you. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna occupy this one. Okay, wait, what was that? What was that thing I just got? Greedy fists. Ward save, weapon strength, greedy fist. Increased cooldowns. Affects enemies in range. Okay, sure. You can have that one. Thank you for this gift. No worries, you're welcome. Okay, waddle away, Oda. Waddle, waddle faster. That, that, that's the ticket. Right, fetid food stuff enables food poisoning attacks. So that's gonna get. That's 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 gonna that's gonna reduce your your hygiene rating. Uh, it does give you a generation frenzy. I mean, that's all pretty good. Driven by visions will give you extra campaign movement range, which I think is probably the best option. Uh, whirling stomp blades. Holy shit. Christ on a bike. 30% weapon strength. Okay, we're going to go with extra movement because you need to... You've need, you got you to gotta go fast, Scrag, because Aranessa's wandering around and she's going to attack my, my poor undefended settlements. No! My poor undefended settlements. What will I do without the pittance of an income it gives me? Oh, no. Please don't attack them. Okay, independent mind. He's a strong, independent hunter and he don't need no man. Probably. Alright, I'm not going to upgrade anything here because I don't trust it. Camp's the only thing that we want to upgrade. Uh, we, we will upgrade you. Anyone wanna challenge me? Uh, what else can we do? Meat generated. Winds of magic is fine. Replenishment in range, not the worst. No, what we want to do is we want to save some money because when, when we get it, we, we need to build things like the, the mineral seam and stuff, don't we? That's what we need to do. And a little commandment here is anything which is going to reduce corruption. Because there's a lot of bitey vampires around. And they're going to make everyone sad, aren't they? So we'll have to deal with them. Right, Aranessa's next on our shit list to murder. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.